What's up, everybody? Welcome to Collecting News. As always, I'm George, and this is the segment where I talk about statues and collectibles that I found throughout the week and put it on a fun and condensed format for you guys. So I hope everybody's having a great week. Mine's been pretty cool so far. Uh, we finally got to see the second trailer to the Black Panther, and I thought that thing looked dope. Awesome looking movie. Really looking forward to seeing that one. Uh, if you haven't seen that one already, I suggest you guys go check that trailer out. It is pretty sick. Uh, also, we got to unbox and assemble this uh, Mysterio statue back here. Uh, finally published that video, so if you guys are on the fence about getting this piece, you know, I suggest you guys give that one a watch. I put a lot of uh, close-ups and uh, really went into depth on how to put this whole thing together. It is a little bit tricky, uh, but it is a nice looking piece, so I suggest you guys check it out when you get a chance. Um, other than that, I want to give a big shout out to the guys at the Collectiverse. Uh, had a great time with them this past weekend. Uh, we shot episode 7, so that should be coming out here pretty soon. Uh, these guys are a really cool bunch. Uh, I know you guys probably already aware that they have a website, uh, thecollectiverse.com. A uh, really cool uh, site for you guys to check out where you can get all of uh, the different uh, guys who are doing videos like mine, uh, reviews, unboxings, all of that information is there. So, you know, it's just you guys go check that out. Uh, but beyond that, they also have uh, a show that they have on YouTube uh, where uh, the guys get together and they uh, talk about, uh, you know, different topics uh, related to the uh, collecting world. And it's very interesting. It's fun. Uh, they really have a good time with it. So uh, when you get a chance, you know, make sure you guys check that out. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into the show. All right, so pre-orders this week started out with a bang. The first up on our list was the one-third scale Sagat by Paul Kotroshak. Now, this one made its debut at New York Comic Con, and I've spoken about this on a few different episodes, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. All I can say is that he's big, he's badass, and he's definitely worth the money. Uh, the one-third scale regular exclusive is going to run $999, and then they have two other special exclusives. Uh, one is the Muay Thai uh, exclusive and the uh, Victory exclusive piece. Uh, each one of those are running $1,149. Now, all of these are touting an extremely low edition size. The Muay Thai and the regular exclusive only have a limited count of 350 and the Victory is running at 200 so very small. Uh, this is due out between February and April of 2019, so it's pretty far out. All right, and next, Kotobukiya released another Batman statue. This is based on the Rebirth uh, series of this character. Uh, I've always been a pretty big fan of this guy. I like the costume. Uh, love that they decided to go with that uh, yellow uh, outline around the Batman logo. I think that's really cool. Uh, love the pose. I think they did a great job with that, and they did an awesome job on the portrait. I think overall, this is a really nice looking piece. Uh, my only issue with it is that it's a one-tenth scale, so it's kind of small. That's me by my size, do you? <laughs> but at least it's not too expensive. Uh, this one's running $59.99 at Big Bad Toy Store, and if you're interested in picking this one up, it's due for release in May of 2018. All right, and lastly, XM Studios had a pretty big week this week, releasing two statues for pre-order. Uh, the first was their Winter Soldier. This is a pretty awesome-looking statue. It's got its debut at Thailand Comic Con. Uh, I've always liked the way this one looked. I like how he's standing on top of that... Uh, engine or weapon of some kind, some kind of machine. Uh, looks really cool. Uh, I like that he has the switch out arms so that you can have one holding a knife or you can have him holding two weapons, uh, one in each hand. Uh, so I think that's also really cool. Uh, very fantastic looking piece if you're looking to get this one. Uh, the other one was the uh, Kucherak Bros uh, Lizard Bust and that one also very awesome looking piece. Uh, the Kucherak Brothers do a great job of making these busts look like something more. You know, it's definitely not your average uh, you know, run-of-the-mill bust. They always have a lot of energy. It always looks very dynamic for something that you wouldn't expect to be in, in that type of a statue. Uh, love that they have a lizard looking like he's jumping out of a sewer and you have that splashing water. And I think they did a great job with the texture work throughout the skin. Uh, awesome job on that portrait. So fantastic job on both of these. All right, guys, so that's it for the pre-orders that I found pretty cool this past week. But, you know, if you're interested in getting any of the pre-orders that have happened in the past or the ones that are about to come out soon, we always take and post them on our Facebook page shop. So make sure you check that out. And if you're interested in any of the ones that I spoke about in this video, I left links in the description below for you guys to get to them. All right, so announcements. Sideshow has two releases coming out tomorrow. The first is the Abbey Chase premium format from the Danger Girl series drawn by J. Scott Campbell. Now, I think this one is very cute. I think they did a good job with making it look like the Campbell artwork. You know, very nice touch that they did there. Good uh, pose. Love that she looks, you know, very sexy uh, in her walk there. Um, like the portrait, uh, and I like how she has that gun holding up in one hand. Uh, very vibrant colors. 
the base is okay. Wouldn't say it's the greatest thing in the world, but it's also not the worst. I like that she has those flames going around her, so that's kind of cool. And I like that the exclusive comes with that art print that's uh, printed on metal. I think that's also really neat. And it has that stand that holds it, so that's pretty cool. But when everybody saw the price on this one, they were all like, <laughs> I love to use that clip. So, you know, I saw some posts where people were saying that this thing shouldn't be any more than 300 bucks. Uh, so I took a look back at some of the older pieces from Sideshow, uh, specifically the Jean Grey premium format statue is the one that I looked at the most. So this one was $359 when it came out. And it's not any more elaborate, I think, than what we're getting with Abby Chase. Um, you know, considering now that it's been uh, about three years since that statue came out and that this one comes with an art print on metal, you know, I don't think that the $510 for the exclusive is too outrageous. Maybe the $500 for the regular is something that's a little bit up there in price, but, you know, if you take out the price of that art print, you know, and say it's about 60 bucks, you know, you're probably looking at about $450 for the statue if you're getting the exclusive. So if you're interested in getting this one, definitely get the exclusive. All right, and next they have a Stormtrooper life-size bust that's going to be releasing. Now, this one looks very nice, looks just like what I expect a Stormtrooper to look like. You know, it has all the very nice details, looks just like what I saw in the movies, so I think they did a great job there. But this one's going to run $950. It's kind of loud. That's a lot of money. Considering what I'm about to talk about next, that's a little bit pricey for this one, in my opinion. Uh, you know, I wish it was a little bit lower in price. Uh, even so, I couldn't get this kind of a piece because it's just too damn big. You know, you definitely need a lot more room to have a bust of this size. Uh, so if you're interested in getting this one, though, it will be releasing tomorrow. All right, so then in related news, customers are now receiving the Wolf Predator statue by Sideshow, and it's been getting a lot of heat. Uh, what I've been seeing from the reviews is that uh, people are complaining about the weight of the piece. They're saying it's extremely light. Um, they don't like that there's some seams showing around the uh, tooth area uh, and that there's an overall lack of detail in the mouth. And the biggest complaint that I hear is that the overuse of PVC, that uh, some uh, owners are actually saying that you could smell the PVC on the piece, which I think is uh, pretty crazy. Um, you know, considering when you're paying $650 for uh, a statue, you're expecting to get some kind of quality from it. So, you know, it kind of sucks. You know, I, I'm a big Sideshow guy. I like Sideshow pieces. Uh, you know, most of my collection is Sideshow. Uh, so, you know, when everybody was hating on the Hulk uh, bust that came out earlier this year, uh, I, I actually like it, you know. I saw that one at, at San Diego Comic-Con and I really liked the detail of it and I don't remember it smelling like PVC. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of sad to see that in this piece. You know, I, I think that the detail that I've seen in the pictures of that Predator, it looks uh, really cool. So I was really hoping for more when I, when I saw the uh, reviews on this one. Uh, so hopefully it's something that Sideshow can learn from and we can move on from that. So. All right, so let's move on to some more positive news. HMO finally gave us a look at the second player version of their Morgan statue that was released at Singapore Comic Con. This thing looks amazing. I think this was definitely the showstopper of that show, uh, at least in my opinion. Uh, I love the art behind it. I think they did a great job with that base, you know, just how, you know, from one angle it looks like a pile of rocks, but then as you spin around it, it turns into that skull. It's a definitely... A great piece of art so if you're into this piece you know make sure you guys join the uh, HMO insider group you definitely get more information the pre-order event starts October 27th all right and then Chronicle collectibles announced the upcoming pre-order of their Thalsa Doom statue I saw this one at San Diego comic-con I think it has an amazing amount of detail love the way that base looks with all the snakes I think that's really cool uh, you know it's the first time that this character is being done up in a statue and it's really cool they decided to go with a quarter scale so I think that's outstanding uh, Chronicle Collectibles does a great job of making these movie pieces look authentic and realistic, you know, so great job there. Now the pre-order for this one starts October 20th. Uh, for those of you who are pre-ordering early, uh, you get it for $750 and then afterwards it's going to be $850. And for the first 50 people that do the pre-order, you're going to get this snake medallion uh, to go along with the statue that you can wear. So I think that's pretty cool as well. All right, and then Figure Armor Collectors gave us another little tease of their Trigun statue. You know, I feel like if you take all of the pictures that they've been showing us and put them all together, we might actually get to see the whole statue. I really want to see the rest of the statue already. When will then be now? Soon. All right, and lastly, XM Studios gave us a list of their upcoming pre-orders, and there's a lot coming out here very soon. You know, I kind of wish that they would space this out a little bit throughout the year. I feel like we hardly got anything all year long, and now we're getting like six all crammed into one month. The ones that stood out the most to me are the Moon Knight statue by Caleb Nefson. I think that's an amazing looking piece. Uh, and then the Green Goblin bust by the Kutrek brothers. That's also another fantastic job by them. So, 
you know, again, if you're interested in getting any of these, make sure you look at this list. I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to get to the list so you can see what's coming out here very soon. Uh, and then if you're in an area that uh, you're unable to order directly from XM Studios, you know, shoot us an email and we'll get you in contact with our trusted vendor. All right, so cool customs. First on my list is Bob, agent of Hydra, sculpted by Avier Sculpture. And I think this thing is a hilarious looking piece. I love that portrait and his pose. You know, he just looks very, very funny. Uh, definitely a nice companion piece if you own a Deadpool statue. Uh, this one is a 1-6 scale statue, so it's meant for you guys who collect smaller pieces. Um, he's meant to fit in line with like the Bowen statues. So, you know, if you're a collector of those, this will fit right in with those pieces. Uh, like that it has the Hydra a logo in the base. It's nice and simple, very easy to display. Uh, that uh, Deadpool head that they have there is loose, so you can put it on the base or remove it if you don't want to have that. And then the uh, logo on his chest, that can also be removed. So you can have a Deadpool logo or you can have that Hydra logo on there. So also a very nice job there. So really cool. Thanks for sharing. All right, and next we have this badass looking Wolverine statue sculpted by Alejandro Pereira. Now, if you don't know who this man is, he's the guy who sculpted the Venom statue by XM Studios and this awesome looking cable statue right here by XM Studios. This guy is extremely talented and it shows in this piece. I love that base with the sentinel head right there or the face plate, I think, uh, because if you turn it around, you can actually see all of the uh, mechanics of the inside of the mask. You know, that's something that he didn't have to sculpt and he just went above and beyond and it just makes that piece look even cooler. I uh, love the way that Wolverine is posed. You know, he's just stretching right there, nice dynamic looking pose, very strong, like those arms, you know. The muscles look like they're ripping, which I think is really cool. He went with the suit that looks to me a lot like the Astonishing X-Men. Uh, loved the way the portrait came out. This is just another perfect job by this sculptor. He does great work. Thanks for sharing. All right, and next we have this really cool looking Hellboy sculpt done by Nelson Deriego. And every time I take a look at Nelson's work, I'm always like dumbfounded by it. It's just always full of energy, a lot of fun. Uh, really digging the way that the base looks, you know, having that ooze and then the, uh, that monster just like coming out, all of those tentacles wrapping around, you know, makes for a nice dynamic look. Uh, and then Hellboy himself is just looking epic as ever. Uh, like how he's standing there and he has the gun pointed out and he has the knife, you know, held uh, with the uh, right hand. Uh, creates a nice profile for this character. Uh, the muscles are very nice. They did a great job with the, uh, the anatomy. Awesome looking work there. And the portrait, I, you know, I love the way he does his portraits has that gritting teeth and he just looks you know full of anger uh, ready to do battle with this monster so this is another great piece by Nelson Deriego thanks for sharing buddy and right, before I go I want to show you guys this little tease of this doom statue that is on its way to definitely being another grail piece uh, this one's sculpted by Caleb Nefson and it is just fantastic can't wait to show you guys the full reveal so make sure you stay tuned to see that all right, guys, so that's the show. I hope you had a good time. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you're new here, please hit subscribe. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the Collectiverse. If you ever feel like chatting, and the Marvelous Statues group is always looking for new members, I left links in the description below for you guys to get to all of that. We're going to be coming back at you with more new segments like these and more original shows, so stay tuned for all of that. And until then, see you next time.